We get right to developing news now at 6. An Ohio County woman claims that she was the victim of sexual harassment while working for a local theater union and has filed a lawsuit against several local organizations. Thanks for joining us tonight for 7 News at 6. I'm Tate Blanchard. A lawsuit has been filed in Ohio County Circuit Court against the International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees, Local 64, the Wheeling Municipal Auditorium Board, the Greater Wheeling Sports and Entertainment Authority, and the union's business agent, Frank Sarnecchia. 7 News reporter Catherine Guy joins us live tonight in the 7 News room, and she has spoke to the attorney handling this case this afternoon. And Catherine, you just got brand new details. Tate, we did. Attorney Josh Miller with Torres Save a Law tells me that this woman was a victim of the harassment almost as soon as she started working for Local 64. That union works on events at West Banco Arena, the Capitol Music Hall, Heritage Port, and Jamboree in the Hills. The suit alleges that Sarnecchia controlled whether or not the victim was called into work from the time she began work in July of 2016 until her last event in November of 2017. He allegedly showed her lewd photos, made inappropriate comments about her body and looks, purchased undergarments for female employees, and touched the victim inappropriately. Miller says the victim alerted her supervisors to the problem in January of this year, but the lawsuit alleges they did very little. The victim is no longer working for Local 64. Well, this lawsuit is about sexual harassment in the workplace, and nobody should be subject to sexual harassment, whether verbally or actual touching while they're just trying to go to work and do their job. It's a right that you have in West Virginia to not be subject to that. The victim is seeking monetary damages for wages lost and emotional distress. We reached out to Local 64 for comment and on advice of its attorney, the union has no comment at this time. Now, an earlier version of the suit named the Wheeling Convention and Visitors Bureau because it owns some of the properties where the alleged incidents took place. But as of late this afternoon, the CVB has been removed from the lawsuit. Frank O'Brien, the executive director of the CVB, says they never had any interaction with the two parties involved, and they simply pay the theater's mortgage. The CVB is not involved in any production or everyday activity in the theater. We'll continue to follow this and bring you the latest developments. For now, reporting live in the 7 Newsroom, I'm Katherine Guyon, working for you.